Hello everybody, it's Millie and welcome to my creative world. Today I will be giving you a tour of what I have been building so far. Um, without further ado, let's get on to the tour. So first I want to start with my windmill. Um, this this pathway is made out of mud by the way but uh this is my cave we will get to that later but yeah this is a cave this is a dog and a, a bluebird and i had this running but it was very loud like i i had it looping just for the ambiance but when it kept going it got really loud and it became distracting so i just broke the railroad and here's my enchantment room I won't, I won't be doing much enchanting because I am in survival. Well, I'm in creative, so but it's just for a decoration. And this is a painting, uh, just a fragment of a painting. Oh yeah, by the way, I built this pack in with the creator pack, which is what I used for the beginning of M Millie's Valley. The beginning? I, I, okay, yeah, it was the beginning. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna like, you know, repair my tools. This is already broken because I've been using it a lot. Blast furnace, yeah. So yeah, this is the windmill. Let me, yeah. This, I just eyeballed it. I don't even know if that's like how you build a windmill in Minecraft, but oh well. Now on to the house. This is my two-story house. I was trying to get creative and use different blocks to form my own block palette. As you can see, that the windmill is made out of the same materials as my house. So let's enter in. I got the got some Van Gogh on the wall and some light a light source, the shroom lights. I don't know what this is. I just put it there because it was moving and I felt it added to the ambiance that made the world feel more alive because a lot of stuff is still you know no moving blocks so here's my banner some chain meal armor because it's rare got a little painting in here what is in this chest oh i made this it's a diary hold on i my inventory is not visible it says dear diary i went founding and found 34 iron ingots i would have found more if it wasn't for that pesky skeleton oh the skeletons uh, page two Dear Diary, I found a village a bit north from my house. Everyone was really nice and they even gave me a place to stay. A little typo there, but it's nice of those villagers. Dear Diary, a stray dog wandered into my strip mine. He was kind of cute, so I went on and tamed him. Now to think of a name. I still have a name the dog. Dear Diary, I, pay I died for the very first time. I was tending to the villagers' crops when a creeper came up and blew me to smithereens. Luckily, the farmer had a block on hand to repair the farmhand. Yeah, um, the a creeper blew up the farm. Um, it blew up the village there is a village nearby and last page dear diary i'm going to travel for a bit i don't know when i'll be back but when i do return there will be lots of treats for billy when i get back oh yeah i, f I named the dog billy apparently p.s yes, if you're reading this give billy some food there's meat in the downstairs kitchen also stop reading my diary okay okay i'll stop i'll stop i'll put it back in the chest oh i also have a view that is what's to come <laughs> and there's also a secret in there so before we head to the next section i want to show you what i've been working on in the mines so remember when i showed you this painting yeah well this is just no ordinary painting it is actually a secret passage and this secret passage takes you underwater yeah we got grass on the floor because I haven't done any landscaping yet. And what is this? A water elevator? And what is this? An incomplete building. Yeah, I was working on some kind of underwater build, but I haven't gotten around to building it. So this is just the groundwork of what I want it to look like. But for now, it is just a shell. 
Maybe I'll update it and make another tour video. Or I can update it on camera. Who knows? Oh yes, the pathway to the top. Uh, this this is my area. This is the custom tree I made. I put a little barrel right here. Just used a combination of spruce and oak wood oak log. And there's my bird. My bird hanging from a bird house. And then we have uh, a, a waterfall. Let me hop across these lily pads. I, I like having secrets behind waterfalls, but I don't know what to put here yet. So that's why I have an excavation in progress. If you have any ideas as to what to put behind here, uh, be sure to let me know. I might even build it. So let's walk up this. Oh, actually, fun fact, this this bridge right here did not used to be here. I built this by hand and I also added some light underneath so monsters wouldn't spawn. So yeah, this was all built from scratch. So let's just walk up this, this pathway to our mushroom village. This is my nether portal. Nothing really special, but yeah, it's it's a mushroom portal. I, I like it. I like it a lot. That's all I can say. And I just accidentally entered the nether. I forgot in creative, you get instantly sent to the nether. And it looks like a bunch of animals, oops, have been sent to the nether. So yeah, uh, how about you guys go back through the portal? Or not, okay. I guess I just have a bunch of animals in the nether then. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I just brought back some animals with me. And this is the gardens. So this is a non-functional mushroom house. It's just got plants growing in it. Don't ask why. I, I, I guess I wanted it to be a walkway so we can enter the mushroom village and you can tell I haven't been on this world in a while because it is severely overgrown so I might need to go back in um, repair the walkway so nobody trips got a picnic area with a birthday cake like the one in Millie's Valley got a pond that connects to the waterfall and the secret cave and I might turn this into a pathway to where you can walk through it, but it won't work unless I'm in survival because creative you get sent to the nether without doing the animation. Okay, yeah, so let's get on to the houses. This is my mushroom, I believe, um, blacksmith. I had a blacksmith village, but he died. Yeah. He, was, he got stuck outside the house and then a zombie ate him. So that's why I keep it on peaceful. And I plan on adding another one in the future. But for now, um, rest in peace. Same for the same for the cartographer. Yeah, I added a little globe. Details of map. He died as well. Like, it, they keep getting stuck outside. But... There's also a wandering trainer, trader. I just let him mind his business. And then finally, uh, I don't know who's gonna go in this house, but it is incomplete. So I have little Steve's. It's under construction. So it's a building zone. So let me get out of the way so I don't get injured. So that has been the tour of my mushroom village. Uh, I will be adding more. Eventually I wanna build onto the mountain. But for now, that's just, that's just all for now. And now it's raining. For a bonus, before the video ends, I would like to show you the first thing I've ever built in this world. Duh, don't touch my carrots. I promise I will not touch your carrots. His name's Gooby the Gopher. And he has all these carrots in a field. You could tell this was the first thing I built. And yeah, um, I really like the carrot. Oh, but I can't touch them. So I will just leave them alone. And anything else you want to say, Gooby the Gopher? Good daddy says I've ruined my carrots. You will pay 
for this, Millie. Mark my words. Great. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it put a smile on your face. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.